My name is Mio Ikeja and I'm a professor at the Institute of Molecular Bio, uh, Biotechnology in Bar in Vietnam. Today I'd like to talk about the tips and tricks for the successful ERC grant proposal based on my own experiences. So in my lab in Vienna, we are working on the vaccination and immune responses. And my team consists of nine members, a, out of which five members are funded by the ERC consolidated grants that supports for five years of our projects and with the two million euro budgets. So just shortly about my background, as I said that we work on the life science projects related, related to immune responses and immune um, vaccination. I started all my own lab in 2011 in Vienna and before that I was uh, working as a postdoc and as a staff scientist in Frankfurt University in Germany working on the similar topics. Now what it counts for the ERC grant application is that years after your PhD defense. So in my case it was in 2003. So I could apply for the ERC the consolidated stage but not for it starting and being a fresh group leader which is probably rather difficult. Well, by having said that, eventually it worked out with me at the second trial. Both the applications in 2012 and 2013 were for the consolidated stage. In 2012, it was already rejected, unfortunately, at the step one, and I was not invited for the interview. I got a grade B, which also counts for the eligibility for the follow-up year application. In 2013, it was successful with a grade A, and I received comments from seven external reviewers. Interestingly, the content of the projects were very similar for both applications. What I changed, however, was the panel. In 2012, it was Life Science 3, LS3, which actually applied to LS6, but they changed. And in 2013, to Life Science LS1. And probably more importantly, the style of writing. And both of those points come along in the next slides. So what I found very important were to understand what ERC grants funds, namely the innovative projects. And then also how the variation process goes. I strongly recommend you to get in touch with national contact points, local to your institute, and ideally, if there are any, some of the ERC grant holders at your institute. In essence, uh, for the variations, step one, only the short version of the proposal is read by the panel members, who are probably no experts of your research topic. For the variation step two, external reviewers from your research views, read your full proposal and contribute for it, the variation. So the message here is that a balance between the general and more detailed description of the project is uh, very critical. For the second point, I think the choice of the panel is very important. My recommendation is to check previous panel members, which you can find online, then you will know that probably there are no real experts on your exact research topics. <coughs> but keep in mind that the recommendation for the funding is made by the panel members eventually, and I think there is no good standards per se, but it is critical to seriously consider which panel to submit your proposal. I suggest you to carefully think if your proposal would be attractive and interesting to the panel that you're submitting to. The last tip from my side is for the interview. So if you're successful at step one and invited for the interview, you need to prepare of course very well. The talk is very short usually. In my case it was for 10 minutes short meaning that they shut down the monitor of 10 minutes, so it's very, very uh, strict. And I followed up with 
a 15 of these discussions, which included some of the questions from the external viewers, and presumably the questions came from a few responsible partner members. And what really helped me a lot was to have a huge thoughts with the colleagues who are the ERC grantees and have experience in being members of the funds. Also, the workshops by the National Contact Funds helped me a lot. So finally, to take home, I want to stress that they basically found the innovative projects and then I think the proposal must have a clear message in the big picture. Years after your PhD defense comes, and uh, there are short and full proposal which need to be aimed for more general scientists or for the experts. And choice of the panel is also very important. Lastly, for more junior researchers, maybe in the audience, who are starting the postdoc position soon, check out the partnership between JSPS and ERC from holders, including myself, for your potential postdoc position in Rome. And thank you for your attention. <laughs>